Hello, welcome to an e-demo, part of our video intelligence series on how we can use a video intelligence abandoned removed rule that is being configured on a video edge recorder. We have a scenario here in a high-end clothes store where there are some high value items that need to be protected without the use of a traditional tag. And we also want to keep the items on display at the same time to people in the store. And we actually already have an abandoned removed rule configured and that's going to trigger when a high value purse is removed from the display when this occurs we want store security personnel to be notified and a video of the area in question to display on their monitors. They can then go ahead and observe to determine if the item has been removed for purchase or if it was for some other reason. So let's go ahead and configure that then and the first thing I'm going to do is to create an event. I'm going to choose the build tab then events and new and this event is going to fire whenever our alarm comes through from our video edge. So first thing I need to do in here is to give my event a name. I'm going to go ahead and expand the properties section and I can choose a priority for the event and I'm going to set that to critical because it's such a high value item. You'll also see I have a checkbox here which is called event breakthrough and if I check that that would force the event viewer to the front of the window whenever the event is triggered. I'm just going to leave that blank and move down to the text section. I'm going to enter some text which is going to display alongside the event in the event viewer whenever it is active. I'll just enter a message here for the security personnel to action. If I go ahead then and expand out the sound section you can see I can also add a sound which would play whenever the event triggers. I don't need to do that for this system because we have a security guard constantly monitoring. Uh, finally though I can set some acknowledge and clear options which relate to how the event is treated when it gets to the event viewer when it's activated. And what I'm going to do is require that a message is logged whenever that event is acknowledged. So that means the security guard has seen it and taken some action on the event and they need to log a message that says that. Okay, so the next thing I need to do then is save and close the new event and I'm going to tie my event to a video action. So I already have a salvo pre-configured and what I want to do is display that salvo whenever this event triggers. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to build, event schedule setup and event action pairing. And you can see I just go ahead and select my event. I can use the filter box to narrow this list down a little bit. And there's my event and I'm just going to choose the bell icon and choose the relevant action which in this case is going to be display salvo and there you can go we have those two tied together so I'm just going to save and close that. Okay so the final configuration step then requires us to tie the alarm on the video edge to the event that we have created so I'm just going to go to the build tab again event schedule setup and event schedule setup. I'm going to double click the devices node and I'm going to find the camera which has the abandoned removed rule configured on it. And I'm going to choose the bell icon on that device node and choose the alert that we're going to configure and in this case of course it's going to be abandoned removed so I'm going to put a check next to it and choose add alerts and then I can choose the bell on the alerts node and create the action from there. So what we want to do is change the event state to activated so I'm going to choose change event state actions and again I can find my event in the list using the filter and I'm going to choose OK then to add that in. So what this means then is whenever an abandoned removed alert is triggered from this camera it's going to trigger our event and of course we have already configured our event to in turn trigger a salvo to be displayed. So that means whenever an alert comes through we're going to see a salvo. OK so I'm going to save and close that. I'm going to take a look at how this works in practice. You can see the red purse here in this scene at the front and that is the high value item that we're protecting. And you can see this gentleman in the store here and he's taking a look at the high value items that we have. You can see there as he removes the purse from the display it's going to trigger our salvo to be displayed which is going to highlight the area to the security guard and the security guard can then close the salvo, alert mall security that an object has been removed from their store and you can see we also have the event in the event viewer here. So once the security guard has alerted mall security and the event is finished the security guard can then go ahead and action it in the event viewer. I'm just going to expand this out and you can see the actual event itself and if I choose acknowledge 
you'll see that we get a log message box and this is what we configured in our event earlier on so the security guard must log a message relating to what they have done with this event and they've alerted mall security so I'm just going to type that in here and choose OK then and the event's going to move down into the acknowledge pane and from there it can be cleared